My name is Wando Chago and I'm 17 years old. I'm from Benue State and I am Tiv by Tribe. I'm a first year student in the American University of Nigeria and I'm studying law. How I, I, came, I came to Yola because of AUN. I wasn't very sure on what university to attend, but the AUN paid a visit to my secondary school in Jos Plateau State. And from that short presentation, I was already convinced to come to the American University of Nigeria, so I made my way to Yola. It was a delightful trip. I came by plane from Abuja, and driving to AUN was very nice, as I could see how beautiful Adama State, Adamawa State really was. It was hard integrating into a new community, because I've never been in a place with so many people from so many different backgrounds. I was used to being in a small secondary school in a classroom of about 15 people. Now I was in a big school with people from different states and even different parts of the country and the world. It was quite hard adjusting to people's cultures. Also with my roommates, it was hard because I'd never shared a room with other people. So it was nice being able to accommodate other people's needs and their wants. Being at AUN has been very nice. It's been a very good process integrating into this new community. I've been introduced to so many new things. As it is a liberal arts college, they've introduced me to so many new courses that I'd never even heard of before, so many new activities, so many new methods of learning and assessment. The cafeteria has also been nice as it has a wide range of food. Unfortunately, it doesn't have my favorite food, which is a father rice and stew. This is my favorite meal because it was the first meal which I learned how to cook properly and I love to eat it, especially on my birthday. I really love the meal but it is not available in the cafeteria. In this, my home, I think I'm the person who knows how to cook it the best because I made sure to cook it the best because it was my favorite meal. Uh, uh. The Globally Connected History Project was a very educative and entertaining thing to do. I really love to learn about other cultures in a very fun and educative manner. It was very nice to learn about other cultures and the importance of food. I know that food is very important to every family, but I really didn't know that food had deeper meanings. The friend I made in Ecuador told me so much about the foods they have in their country and why they're important. They talked extensively about coconut and its health benefits. And apart from that, how important it was to them. They said how many of their forefathers used to eat coconuts with milk and they used to make chocolate milk out of it. They let me know that they use it in most of their meals. They also introduced a meal to me which is called churrasco. I also prepared this meal with my parents and it turned out beautifully. It was very nice learning from other cultures from across the world and learning that food has rich importance to people, not just families but as a community as a whole and even as a country. There are also native foods which I feel are important to me and I feel it is also nice to share it with them. I shared some with them the same way they shared with me and I also hope that they have the opportunity to cook it and enjoy it the same way I did. I also interviewed women who had, in, who had moved to Adamawa State from other various states and it was very interesting to hear their stories. Unlike me, their stories were far more interesting. They told me a lot about their childhood, the difference in their hometowns and the difference here in Yola, how they integrated into the community and how much different it was for them. Some of them found it hard while some of them found it easy. And some of them actually did use food to connect. The lady which I interviewed told me about some of her favorite foods, which include food in the north, including Awara, Ami and Kuka. It was very nice to talk to other people who had also moved from another place. This is my first time in Yola, and I also it was very com I, I felt I felt very comfortable speaking to someone else who had also moved to Yola from another part of the country. Um, the Globally Connected Oral History Project is a very interesting and educative program as it introduces students to peers from across the world who are just like them. I got to learn about other people from other countries. I made friends with students in Ecuador who are about the same age with me, studying similar or different courses from me, but we had similarities and differences. They introduced me to their educative system, life in Ecuador, and they shared a lot about their food. They told me that they have various foods which they hold very importantly, including coconuts. They told me how they really loved it and how it has a very rich historical background, 
how most of their forefathers used to eat these coconuts, make coconut milk, and even make chocolate milk out of the coconuts. They still eat the coconut up till today and they love it. They shared a meal with me which I cooked called churrasco. It was very interesting learning to cook a meal from all the way across the world. They shared this recipe with me and it was a very nice process cooking this meal and enjoying it. I also shared the meal with them and I hope that they would have the same experience eating food from another country and enjoying it. This program was very interesting as I met people who were just like me but had other experiences to share. I have never been exposed to people from other countries in such a close manner. It was making friends from across the world who I could also keep for a lifetime. I learned about other cultures personally, not just from reading books, but from personal experiences. Ian as a liberal arts college has introduced me to a wider part of the world. Now I have more connections from across the world and not just within Nigeria. It was a very nice program and I enjoyed doing it. Okay, yes, yes, ma'am. Yeah, I feel as if this course should, okay, with, um, um, I feel as if this global course connection program, okay. I feel as if this global course connection program should continue. Every writing class should have an opportunity to make such friends and learn new experiences from other parts of the country. It is a way of broadening their horizons and widening their perspective. I feel as if anyone should continue for it. It is a good job that they are doing. Okay. Um, um, the American University of Nigeria. Um, at the beginning of the oral history project, I had a few doubts and I was a bit hesitant. I felt that I would not be able to talk to people from across the country. I didn't think that would have any similarities or anything to talk about, but we were connected by food. As we continued on this project, I learned that people are not that different from us. With food, we were able to get connected. During the video call, we discussed so many things about schooling, about life in general, and we became close and good friends. Even after this project, I believe that we'll still continue to be friends. I also learned to be open to new cultures, foods that I'd never tasted before or even heard of, things that I would have found strange before, I now saw as normal. This was something that people ate on a daily basis. It was not the normal food I was used to, but it was nice. And the fact that it was of importance to another person also made it important to me. Learning about other cultures helped me to see how important it is to make connections across the world. As this oral history project has come to an end, I can say that my mind has truly been open. I feel that I'm more open to new ideas and new perspectives from across the world. I feel that I'll be more open to do things like this. I would want to see the world more and learn more about the world, not just Ecuador, but more Ecuador and beyond. This. <laughs> um, um, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. um, well, just and beyond, but I don't know whether it was specific or... Um, no, it was just... Uh, uh, um, I would also like to learn about other courses. Okay, um, let me just put like an ending part. Um, okay. As I've come to the end of this oral history project, I feel as if I'm now more interested in other cultures. Even personally, I think I would go ahead to learn more about other cultures and explore other parts of the world because this experience has shown me that there's more to learn than my comfort zone. <laughs> this, can we cut that part? <laughs> This oral history project has taught me much more than I expected to learn. I have gotten so many skills which I never had before. I think my people's skills have improved greatly as I was able to interview my peers and we talked about so many things, variety of things from politics to school life and food. It was very interesting having to listen to them, listen, take notes and also evaluate what they have told me. It was a very nice time also sharing my experiences with other people from across the world. As a law student, I never expected to see myself interviewing people 
from across the world and cooking their foods. It was a very good exposure for me. As I learned about other cultures, their food, I cooked it and I tasted it and it was wonderful. It was a nice process also working with my peers. It was a good teamwork as we did it together. It was nice finding friends from across the world. Now I have connections that could last lifetimes. Amen has brought me closer to the world than I ever was. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tai Afiobase. I am 18 years old. I'm from Cross River State, Akan Palikor Government. Well, I came to AM because of my school. Oh, sorry, I'm a law major too. I'm a law major. So I came to AM because, so I came to Yola because of my university. The university is in Adamawa State, American University of Nigeria. So that's why I came to AUN. And um, the, weather, the weather is not really favorable to me. So that's the only thing I don't like about Yola. But the rest, I like it. Um, yeah, AUN makes me meet different people from different countries, different cultures. And since I'm from the South, coming to the North, I'm meeting different people, trying to learn the language, trying to eat their food and also meeting different people from other countries too, like South Africa, Ghana, different places, man, different places of the world. Also, my favorite food, I don't really have a favorite food, man, I eat everything, but my favorite food is rice and stew. Hey, my mom prepares it better. I just like the way she prepares it, especially the stew, mix it up with the chicken and all that. So we had a cause, a global, a global course co um, connection with people from from outside studying the same thing with us, writing freshman composition. So we so we got co collaborated with um, the Ecuador with the Ecuadorian students. So we had an interview with them. We talked about our country. Then they talked about theirs, and also we also prepared their food, prepared shrimps, caviche. If I'm not mistaken, it was nice preparing it. Because my first time of my first time preparing a new preparing food, so it was nice, the food was okay. Okay. So we had an interview with women who who my who migrated into Yola at Demoa State for something for some kind of reasons of theirs which we, we got from them. So it kind of lets us to know about life, how life is favorable and not favorable to some people. That's why they try to move to find a better place. So with these women, we use these women to find out about how they lived, how they left from the former place to Yolaye, which was not kind of, which wasn't good at all, but that's where life, or that's where faith pushed them, so, yeah. So, uh, should we need to Yeah, sorry, thank you. Well, my name is Tai Efeo Basi. I'm it. Okay, sorry, one more thing. Don't be too distracted. I should just focus on it. Okay. Yeah, my name is Tai Efebasi. I'm from Crossover State, Calabar. I'm 18 years old. Yeah, 18 years old. I'm studying law. Well, um, why I came to Yula at the Moa State was just because of my university. They flew me down here because I want to study law in American University. That's why I came here. Well, I'm seeing Yola as a good place, peaceful, not as I used to think it was. But as I came here, I saw it as a better place. Peaceful, no, no robbery. I've not heard about any robbery or any attack from the Boko Haram, as they call it. But one thing I don't like is the weather. The weather is not favorable. Where I come from, the south, it's not really, it's not as hot or as sunny as Yola, but I'm getting used to it. The language too, coming to AUN have made me 
I've met so many people, met different people from different places, different cultures, from different countries also, South Africa, Ghana, Cameroon, different cultures like the Fulanese, the Hausa, the Igbos, so all of us coming together, forming home, make me tolerate them, try to understand, try to eat their food, which I've never eaten before. But with coming, I'm coming together, learn to eat their food, try to speak their language. It's kind of a good thing to me. Um, to me also yeah the food uh, I don't really have I don't really have best food per se I, I eat anything but I'll just say my food is my best for now rice and stew I like it because of the way my mom prepares it the rice she boils it makes it soft the stew also the stew mixed with chicken always it's nice we eat it every Sunday Every Sunday and sometimes we we'll be having special any festival like weddings or any visitor coming in or family members. That's when she she prepares it. So we had a like we had a meeting. So we had an interview. We interviewed some women who migrated from where they were to Yolaye because of some certain reasons, like. It, like where they was wasn't really they had some they experienced bad times where they were. So they came down here to find greener pastures and also to further the future. And all that. So um, we also had a cross connection with people not from Nigeria but different places. Like where where they connected me to was the Ecuador. So I had an interview with the with the Ecuadorian students who also studied, who is also studying what I'm studying, the composition, I year to, year two, study the same thing. So we interview them, we find out about their country, how their country is, the political system of their country, how the food is. They also interviewed us on how our food is and the, and the country too, how in, in Nigeria is. So we also prepared their food, which is the shrimp, caviche. It was nice, prepared it well. Like we used their menu they sent to us to prepare the food. So it was nice, the shrimps was okay. I, and, and I really enjoyed how we prepared it. My name is Jacqueline Sidigado. I am 16 years old and I am from Benue State studying a law as a major in the American University of Nigeria. I never really saw myself in the American University of Nigeria, Yola State, because it's Yola, Damara, so like, I didn't really see myself here. But due to the marketing services that they came, that they came with in my secondary school, Premier Academy, Lugbe Abuja, they caught my attention. But I still didn't accept the fact that I wanted to go to Yola. And I am here today socializing with everybody from different states, specifically most of the, mostly the Iowa people, so like I'm learning a couple of things like the Hausa language, the Fulani language, and many more. How is it? Can we start again? Can we start again? Can we start again? I just didn't know what I was eating, but at least I learned different things, how they make it and how it is served. It can be served through so many ways, like with pepper, with oil, and many other things. Then for the Igbos, I have tasted the abacha, which Nena I interviewed, who I interviewed, cooked for us. And then, what else? I haven't really tasted anything. Okay, tasting meals became a project when we had to combine our hands to make an Ecuadorian meal in which the ingredients were sent to us, which is called shrimp service where we had to make things from juice, ketchup, so many things which I didn't believe could be combined but at the end of the day was eaten by us and was really nice. And then we also had an Indian meal which was almost like an English meal which was chips, chicken, grilled chicken, pepper and lettuce. And then we joined hands to make this work because we had to like inculcate ourselves in activities that would make us like 
we come together, become one, rank each other as one, which I really liked about the project. And up to now, it's making me open to other various sectors of the cultural community that we all share. Simple, that's all. The liberal arts curriculum of the American University of Nigeria has opened our minds to so many things at large, which I never saw myself as a law student studying, like learning how to cook an Ecuadorian meal, learning how to cook in an Indian meal. Through the support of the GLAA, Global Liberal Arts Alliance, we have been connected globally to see what all hands can do to promote peace and so many other things at large. Thank you. Okay, I have learned how to uh, join hands with my peers to make a meal that we've never seen before, make, do things that we've never seen before or heard of before, and then also be exposed to the issues of other countries that we never knew were on ground and would affect students. Because when issues go out of hand, we don't get affected because of where we are. But students from other sectors get affected, which I never knew would ever be possible. But through these oral projects, I have heard, listened, and read so many things that have exposed, exposed us to things at large. Thank you.